let's make 3d letter manipulation like this in canva so let's start with it so i have chosen youtube thumbnail as my canvas here you can choose any type of thumbnail or any type of canvas site it doesn't matter with the canvas site just make sure the rulers are present here if you don't have that just place shift plus r button on the keyboard okay and as you can see it has disappeared for me and i press shift plus r to again make it reappear so the rulers are present here now i will go to elements and as you can see i have selected a rabbit image here i will bring it to canvas and mark the ends with the ruler because a uh, lot of settings needs to be done so for that ruler will really help us and now as the setting is done now i will bring the letter frame here so i will scroll down to find frames click on see all and after that scroll down to find letters here click on see all again click on r which is the initial for rabbit and i will just make sure that the r is staying till the rabbit face not more than that okay so the ears are till here so i will maintain the r also till here okay and now let's copy this by clicking on duplicate and just place it in the r frame but as you can see you need to adjust it just double click it and bring it in the canvas and just resize it so the r frame is resized and after that just click the frame again and just move or shift a little bit okay so just check it if it is working for you or not because uh, without that you work cannot be done so i will just move a little bit so that i can check and i will just right click it and go to layer send to backward okay so a little left shift will be better so like this okay now i will bring on the frame there make sure you click the control button in the keyboard so that the main image doesn't shift or just hit in the frame so after that just select the second frame and adjust the image okay so the second frame adjustment is also done and select the second frame again click on edit after that click to adjust and make sure you decrease the brightness to minus 100 and also decrease the shadows here so this one is done now select the main image here and remove the background clicking on bg remover okay so the background is removed and now right click it go to layer bring to front and now just remove this ruler part and crop it till here and also in the lower part okay so the adjustment is done now to highlight the frame here just go to stroke style click on the second icon make sure it is in 4 and change the stroke color to white or any color of your preference so i am keeping it as white now select all the layers clicking on control plus a in the keyboard and group them so our grouping is done now i will go to share click on download make sure the downloading format is in png and click on download after that add page and add the image which you just downloaded just crop this part because we don't want or this part now crop the lower part also and make it slightly bigger remove the rulers here because we don't require it now okay and place it right here after that just 
duplicate it and flip it flip vertical place it right here okay and after that click on transparency decrease the transparency like this and for effect go to elements again and click on shadow and here select the first shadow and place it right here after that decrease the size and make sure it is standing right here okay so the impact is created just make it a little bit bigger and your design is ready